how we convert food energy to human energy. So we take in a astonishing 70 metric tons or so of food in our lifetime. And that is potential energy. It's energy from the environment that's outside of us that through our metabolic pathways gets converted to a currency of energy that can then be used to pay for essentially every chemical reaction inside our body. And the bubbling up of all of those chemical reactions is our lives. And so when metabolism is not working properly, it's essentially creating underpowered cells. And like any city or factory or machine, not having adequate power will lead to dysfunction. And the reason that the metabolic spectrum of disease is so vast is because we have over 200 cell types in the body and underpowering in different cell types is going to look like different symptoms because underpowering in a astrocyte is going to look different than underpowering an ovarian theca cell or an endothelial cell. It's going to look different, but the core foundational process that is dysfunctional can actually be the same. And I think the biggest blind spot 